Good morning, YouTube. Okay, today we are making one of my new favorite things. We're gonna be making broccolini, and we're gonna be doing it with a little bit of garlic, some lemon juice, some Parmesan cheese. This stuff is good. You're gonna like it. All right, y'all, we got a family to feed. Let's cook. Well, now we're waiting on the pan to get hot. <laughs> All right, guys, we're making broccolini. Let me talk about this for just a minute. A couple years ago, you never saw this anywhere, not for sale in East Tennessee. You probably found it in some of the bigger cities. Um, and you would occasionally see it on, on Food Network or on high-end cooking shows or um, restaurant menus in big cities, but you didn't see it for sale in the grocery stores until recently. Um, in the past year, I have seen it a few times, and you're gonna look for two different things, okay? This particular bunch was marketed as baby broccoli. It could be, I'm not entirely sure. It's also called broccolini, L-I-N-I, -I, or broccoletti. What you usually have is not truly baby broccoli, and you, you recognize that right away if you've ever seen broccoli growing in a garden. Um, what this is, is a hybrid of broccoli and another cruciferous vegetable from Asia. Okay, so it's not like a bok choy, but it's close. So what you have is just this little stocky situation going on here. Okay, so broccolini, broccoletti, baby broccoli, all the same thing. All right, so what we have, medium hot pan. Our oil is not shimmering yet, but that's kind of what we want. This is actually a little bit sweeter, um, I think, than regular broccoli. And you want to get your oil to the point where it's got a little shimmer to it. That's not quite there yet. And you want to keep it on medium-ish, low heat. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to throw, this is about a pound of our broccoli. We're going to do it just a quick saute. This is not hot enough. So get yours hotter before you proceed. You want a little bit of a sizzle. And we had no sizzle. Well, now we do. Now we have a hint of a sizzle. Okay. And you don't need water at this point, but you do need a good pinch of kosher salt. I use kosher, so that's probably about half a teaspoon. And y'all, this is just gonna sit here doing just this thing. Oh, I forgot all my tongs are in the wash. Uh, it's gonna sit here and just do this for about 10 minutes, okay? Maybe in five minutes, I'll give it a toss. But for the most part, this is really a hands-off, easy-peasy dish. I lost my cameraman. Those had about four minutes. Just enough to pick up some nice little char. I turned everybody over, and we're gonna keep going another four or five minutes. All right, we're about eight minutes in, and I apologize about the dog barking in the background. We have new neighbors, and they haven't realized that that's not a nice thing to have happen all day. All right, so I'm just gonna give it a splash of water. Cover it up and let it steam for about three or four minutes. Kimberly was just stating that she wished she had a stimulus check. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this steamed for about four or five minutes, and we've got two cloves of garlic. I love garlic. I do too. Uh, I love it. Okay, my new favorite thing. I've got two two favorite ways of, of doing vegetables now. We're gonna add half a teaspoon of red pepper. Not too much because Kimberly doesn't like it. Two favorite ways. I like to roast them on high heat, and I like to saute it on relatively high heat, so you get this roasty, charred thing happening, right? And then just garlic for just a couple minutes. Man, I made some butter duck squash a minute ago. It was to die for. I did it, it all. It smelled really good. It was so good. I ate it all. I thought it was biscuits <laughs> and gravy. How do you get biscuits and gravy? <laughs> From roasted butternut squash with garlic and almonds and sage. From my room, it smelled like it. I think you're a little bit off the water. Okay. I love it. All right, so we're going to let that go for just a minute. And I've got a fresh lemon right here that I am juicing right into my little bowl. And I like doing that with the water, just a scant bit of water, because you really want it to evaporate as much as possible so that your, your stuff doesn't get waterlogged. I don't think I want to use the juice from the whole lemon at first. I did want to squeeze it into that bowl and let the uh, seeds settle. So I'm going to give it a couple tablespoons of lemon juice. 
maybe three. Three tablespoons of lemon juice. And to finish that off, I have just a couple tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. On now. I kind of want chicken alfredo and broccolini. Oh, we should do that. I have more broccolini. You want some for dinner, baby? Yep. Okay. There you go, guys. That is how to make broccolini. Look, I'm going to burn my mouth again. How to make broccolini with garlic, lemon, and parmesan. Mm. You can eat the stem, right? Eat the whole thing. It's just hot. But it's so good. I'll take one. That's worth burning your mouth for. I'll get you one. 